What's up, YouTube? We're back again. Today's video is going to be everything you need to know about a C notch. So, we're going to start with what is a C notch. So, first off, there's two types of notches you use step notch and also C notch. A C notch is literally just where you make like a C in the frame so that way your axle has room to travel upwards. So, I'm going to explain that here in a second. I personally have a step notch. Um, whenever you're like in a forum or something, majority of people are probably going to refer to a C-notch or any type of notch as a C-notch. So this is the C right here. You see it? Or, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The step. The step notch right there. So if you look, my axle is going to be right there. The axle is also, you know, one of the wheels, like, you know, one on the other, one on this side. Um, that gives the axle more room to travel up. So basically what you do is, for example, whenever my frame was... You know how the stock it grew going all the way across this, right? So my axle had what was called bumps, or I'm sorry, my frame had bump stops under it. A bump stop's like a little, maybe uh, a rubber piece. It goes there, so that way when the axle hits it, it's not hitting the frame. Um, so in this case, uh, when, you, when you go low enough, you're going to hit those bump stops pretty often. So what I did was I had them do a C-notch. So they cut the frame there allow my axle more, more travel to go upwards. Um, I personally took off the bump stops to give it more space. I don't think I'm ever hitting the frame again uh, with this C-notch. Um, if I had my bump stops there, I'd probably hit them every now and then. So me personally, I take them off. So there's, uh, there's two um, different types of you know, notches you can do. Or, I'm sorry, you know, different forms. You can, you can do a weld in. We can do a bolt in. Me personally, I do weld ins. Um, it just makes sense to me. I feel like welds are probably going to be much stronger than a bolt in. Um, you know, bolts come loose, welds. I mean, sure they can crack, but I'd say if you got a, you've got somebody knowing, you know, what they're doing, it's not going to be cracking. Um, whenever you do a C notch, I, I'm probably going to refer to it as a notch or C notch the whole time. Um, it's almost stuck in my head at this point. Um, can a C-notch be strong? Yes, it probably can be strong as factory or stronger from what I've read. Um, basically, as long as whoever's doing the weld in um, keeps the temperatures correct. So basically, whenever you, you know they're doing it, they have the right temperatures. They're not doing it too hot. Um, basically, if it goes a little too hot, you could also weaken the frame structure you know, near wherever they're welding. So, you know, I'd say majority of welders probably know what they're doing. So I would feel, uh, you know, comfortable leaving it with a fabrication shop that has done this in the past. Um, so one huge question that I'd like to touch base on. Let's say, for example, you got into an accident. Somebody rear-ended you and you have a notch. So I work at an insurance company and I actually never had a single customer ask me this. Um, to be honest with you, I have no 100%, you know, answer, um, that I'm like 100% sure on. I would say if somebody rears you and hits your shit, I, I would, I would assume they're going to pay out the full value of the truck at, you know, if it was a stock vehicle, unless you have like some endorsement and endorsement is basically something that says, Hey, I've got all these ads market things done to my vehicle. Um, and your insurance company knows about them. So that way your insurance company knows how to fight the claim and also get the correct amount of money for you. Um, I feel like if you're at fault though in the accident and you have a C-notch, I don't know if they're gonna count it as you know total due to frame damage is what they like to call it because your frame's got you know an altercation to it. Um, you know, it's been altered. Um, I really don't have a good answer on that. I did try to call two agents locally um, not going to disclose which company, but I did talk with them and just try to get an answer out of that. Um, I, I was curious and honestly, they didn't know what the hell the, uh, you know, how, how that'll play out either. I, I think it's really wishy-washy. Um, cause basically what I've read is once you do a C-notch, you know, it's a salvage, but it's also a rebuild because you know, it's, 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 it's re you're re 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 rebuilding the frame. But honestly, I have no clue. So that's gonna be my answer on that. If, if you know, if you have a past claim experience, please comment below. I'll pin it, and uh, you know we can definitely you know educate some other people on that. 
that would be great um you know while i'm at it i'm gonna go ahead and just show y'all the tilt one more time i know i did show y'all a video on that yesterday but i really didn't explain why you need to tub your vehicle so whenever you tub your vehicle so for example there used to be you know the stock tubs right there so what they did was they raised it up so they, they made new ones they went a little higher that way my wheel has more room to travel upwards without hitting anything um, I can also go a little wider, you know, if I were to short my rear end, you know, do a couple other things. But that's really what tubs are for. Um, just to give you a little more clearance. Would, would I recommend tubs? Mm, I mean, depending on which body style truck you got. Um, I know, for example, on this truck, I really didn't need them at 7 inches. I had maybe an inch and a half on top. Sure, I hit every now and then, but really didn't need them. 8 inches, I would definitely do it. Um, cause with eight inches, man, you're going to have no room. You're just going to hear bump, 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 you know, just squeaking. So I would just go ahead and do it. But that's the video for today. I uh, just want to, you know, educate a little bit on, uh, on notching your vehicle. Um, just from what I know from, you know, previous experience, you know, like I said, I've not, I've did two step notches, never had an issue with either, uh, ride smooth still. Um, honestly, I think, I think once you, once you notch it, it's probably going to ride the smoothest because it's never going to hit the frame in the back. Literally never. Um, if y'all saw how much room I had, I had, I probably got a good eight, nine inches, maybe 10. I mean, it, it's a lot of room, but there's today's video. Um, please like subscribe, share. Also, if you have an Instagram, I have Instagram too. Just follow me. Um, it's going to be R like Romeo P Papa B Bravo C Charlie, the number one. Um, so that's R P B C one. Um, I'll put it in the, in the, uh, in the link as well on this video. So you can check it out. Uh, give me a follow. But if you got any questions, just comment below. I'll try my best to answer. Um, I do go back on each video um, probably every couple days. I just kind of answer as much as I can during my free time. I got two jobs, so I really don't have too much free time. But trying to make these videos for y'all, I'd really like to you know make more YouTube videos. It's just I got to you know get some time for it. But all right, y'all. I'll see y'all. Peace.